Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back and today we will talk about the atomic radius. Previously we talked about the periodic table and the classification of elements inside the periodic table. Now there are some properties of atoms which are revealed through the classification of elements inside the periodic table. The first one is the atomic radius. So the atomic radius is the distance between the nucleus and the farthest electron from the nucleus. But we cannot define it like this because according to the atomic theory we cannot measure precisely the distance between the nucleus and the farthest electron in the outermost energy level because we cannot detect the place, the speed and the location uh, of the electron at the same moment. This is practically impossible. So simply what we do is use something else. For example we have the gases like oxygen, like fluorine. We can notice that this molecule and this molecule contains two atoms of the same element. So the chlorine contains two chlorine atoms. Now, we can say that in this atom, we have um, the same distance from the nucleus, but we cannot measure this distance. Because this is a chlorine atom, and this is a chlorine atom. This is an oxygen atom, and this is an oxygen atom. It's the same atom, so the distance is the same too, but we cannot measure it. What we do is, measuring the distance between the nucleus of this one and the nucleus of this one, and on the base that the distance, this distance is equal to that one, what we do is measure the whole distance and then divide it by 2 so we can get the atomic radius. So the atomic radius is defined as half the distance between the centers of the two nucleus of the two nuclei in a diatomic molecule. Diatomic means that this molecule contains two atoms of the same element. So that's how we obtain the atomic radius. For example, we have the hydrogen molecule. The hydrogen at atom bonded to another hydrogen atom. So the distance between the nuclei of the two atoms here is 0 0.6 angstrom. And angst angstrom one angstrom equals 10 of power negative 10 meters. So in order to get the atomic radius of a hydrogen atom, we divide this number by 2. So we get 0 0.3 angstrom. The same thing in chlorine, for example. We have the distance between the two nuclei, 1.98 angstrom. So we divide this by 2 and we get 0 0.99 angstroms. So we can use this number, for example, to get the atomic radius of another atom. So if you have a molecule containing carbon and chloride, and we know the distance between the nucleus of chlorine and the nucleus of carbon. So, if this is a chlorine molecule. This is a chlorine atom and this is a chlorine atom and we know this distance which is 1.98 so we can get the uh, atomic radius of chlorine, which will be half the distance, so we get 0 0.99. And 
we have the carbon atom bonded to the chlorine atom. Now, we, do, we want to get that distance. We have this distance, which is 0 0.99, and we have the total distance, which will be 1.76 angstrom. So from this, we can simply get that distance by subtracting 0 0.99 from 1.76 uh, so we get the atomic radius of carbon which will be 0 0.77 angstrom this is how to get the atomic radius now we have some notes on um, the atomic radius in the classification of elements in the periodic table we know that the periodic table consists of periods and groups. Periods are horizontal, while groups are vertical. Now, as we go from left to right, we can notice that the number of electrons increase only by one electron. For example, one, two, three, four, and so on. While the nuclear positive charge of the nucleus increases by a larger amount of the increase in the electrons. We know that the nucleus contains negative and positive charges. The positive charges increases in the elements as we go from left to right. Now, as the positive charge increases, we know that the electrons are negatively charged. So, the force of attraction between the nucleus and the electrons will increase, and this will grab the electrons nearer to the nucleus and accordingly this will decrease the atomic radius because the atomic radius is the distance between the nucleus and the furthermost electron from that nucleus so the uh, atomic radius decreases as we go from left to right in the periodic table now let's see in groups as we go downwards, the atomic radius increases. That's because as we go downwards, an extra energy level is added. So the first element contains one energy level, the second will contain two energy levels, the third will contain three, and so on. And adding energy level naturally increases the distance between the electrons for example, if this is the nucleus and we have one energy level, so the furthermost electron will be here. Well, if we have an extra energy level added, the electron will be here. So this distance will increase. So the first reason is adding an extra energy level or an extra energy shell. The second is that when we add an extra energy shell this will increase the number of electrons in this atom and accordingly there will be repulsive forces between the, these electrons because all of them have the same charge they're all negative and being negative will um, construct some repulsive forces and these repulsive forces will increase the distance between electrons and this will make it more far from the nucleus and this will increase the atomic radius. Third, having a number of electrons around the nucleus like this and some other electrons here, the electrons which are more near to the nucleus will take up uh, most of the nucleus attractive forces and the ones far from the nucleus will not be affected by this attractive force and so uh, being not affected by the attractive forces they will be more far from the nucleus because the attractive forces will grab the electrons near to the nucleus and the absence of these attractive forces will let them go away from the nucleus and accordingly increasing the atomic radius so the electrons in the innermost energy level have a screening effect on the pole of the nucleus 
and this means that they kind of prevent these uh, attractive forces from reaching to the furthermost electrons. So that's why as we go from left to right the atomic radius decreases while as we go from up to down it increases in the periodic table. Finally we'll have an example showing what we have just said. For example, the sodium atom and the sodium ion. The sodium ion has a positive charge. It means that it gives electrons and so it's called a cation. Now, the sodium atom, its atomic radius is 1.75 angstrom. Well, the um, sodium ion, its atomic radius is 0 0.95. We can notice the decrease in the atomic radius. While the decrease in, um, in the number of electrons is not that much because the sodium contains 11 electrons and it only loses one electron so the sodium cation has 10 electrons um, this is because of the increase of the positive nuclear charge which increases the attraction and decreasing the atomic radius as we can see on contrary for example in chlorine Here the chlorine atom has an atomic radius of 0 0.99 while the chlorine anion is called anion and has a negative charge indicating that it gains electrons. Um, its atomic radius or ionic radius because this is an ion is 1.81 so by just gaining one electron we can see that the atomic radius nearly doubled so in the normal atom it's 0 0.99 and in the ion it's 1.81 because it gained an extra electron and this affected the number of electrons increased the repulsive forces and all what we have just mentioned previously so this is it for today and the next time we will talk about another property of elements which is called the ionization energy and until then I thank you for watching and see you. Assalamu alaikum.